A fiery political debate has erupted over the use of toilets. Winston Peters has taken a dig at transgender women, saying men have no place in female bathrooms. But as Deputy Political Editor Mikey Sherman explains, it's been met with fierce criticism. Winston Peters causing quite a stink today over toilets. I make it very clear, somebody who's got a male appendix should not be in a woman's bathroom or a girl's bathroom. New Zealand first reigniting the controversial debate on women's spaces. I'm telling you, you're on a different planet if you want to have a conversation about bathrooms and make that an election issue. We're the only, we're the only ones grounded in this campaign, can't you see? It's not something that's being raised with me at the moment. I don't think it's front of mind for most New Zealanders. A lot of people do want to enter the debate. A lot of people are saying, thank heavens, someone is making a stand for women. New Zealand First is proposing a law ensuring any new public bathroom has clearly demarcated unisex and single-sex facilities and that current toilets aren't used by anyone of the opposite sex. Women and young girls should be safe and feel safe when they go to a public bathroom. In some parts of the country, you've got men going in there and using the same bathroom. And a lot of people are seriously concerned, and rightfully so. Research shows trans and non-binary people are three times more likely to experience sexual violence than women in the general population, leading to claims New Zealand First is fear-mongering. It's cheap and nasty, and it's at the expense of trans people. This is politics that does not belong in this uh, century, and perhaps neither does this politician. Crystal Tamiana says there are barriers for trans women no matter where they go. I was told by a man that I was in the wrong toilets and that I should be in the women's toilet. She's hoping for a considered solution. I would like to still be, into, be in a biological woman's um, dressing unit, but um, I would appreciate it if there be like, um, space allocated for women like myself. New Zealand First would also withhold public funding from sporting bodies which don't have exclusive female categories. If you want to defend cheats, go right ahead, but my party does not. His party hoping its policy will prove popular with some. Mikey Sherman, One News.